What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? Yo, <clears throat> what's good, everybody? In this segment of Breaking Truckers, the Recruiter Call channel, we're gonna look at, uh, we're gonna look at this clip from CNBC, and they did a spotlight on TikToker, social media influencer, Clarissa Rankin. Now, this is going to be something different. We're not going to we're not going to be reacting to the video itself. Rather, we will be reacting to the comments that is in this video. Of course, the name of the video is I bring in 144k a year driving trucks on the road. In the description, it says Clarissa Rankin, 36, brings in a whopping 144K as a professional truck driver hauling an array of goods from diapers to TVs to canned goods across the East Coast. She owns her own trucking business, J.C. Rankin's Transport and also makes additional money documenting her trucker's life on social media, where she was able to make an additional 36K in 2021. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. In this particular video, it has 300K views and over a thousand comments let's go ahead and listen to some of the some of the video and then we're gonna go ahead and jump in to the comment session no more wasting time let's get it hold on i am clarissa rankin i'm 36 years old i'm based out of charlotte north carolina i'm a female truck driver a social media influencer and i make over six figures a year Over the past five years, I have hauled so much stuff as a truck driver. I'm talking about tires, diapers, wipes, auto parts, TVs, sunscreen, undergarments, shoes, chips, you name it, I have hauled it. I just wanted to come and say that it is a blessing to see a lady driving to try to trade. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, man, you know how you know how male truck drivers get starry eyed when they see a female trucker at a at a truck stop. It doesn't matter, you know, what's her origin, what's her size, uh, or anything like that. It's just that some dri some male drivers out here, you know, they get into their get into their thing and they're excited to see uh, another you know a female gender driving these trucks out here so let's start with uh let's start with some of these comments man let's let's get into it Mar we're gonna start with the very first one Marilyn says i was so glad to see that they made a video about her i think it's a i think it's great that the dad is staying at home uh one part of the video uh where she mentioned that her husband joey is a stay at home dad now i you know i i had the pleasure of of having a conversation with the rankins uh a while back and at that time joy was a local driver for a bottling company but with the explosion of of clarissa rankins personality and you know presence on social media he kind of took a step back to be an at-home father for her kids, which is a great, great idea because, you know, sometimes, you know, they raising two boys, two men, you know, into men, and they need that, that father figure. And being that Joey suggested that, hey, maybe I should just take the role of the at-home parent to make sure that our kids is all right. You go out there and do what you do to make sure that, you know, you, you, you get you get stuff done 
appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that, bro. Ashley says, I love female truck drivers. I'm one myself. Love to change the stereotype. Yes, there is stereotypes in trucking. Realtor says, such an inspiration to other women and young girls that can do whatever they put their minds to. Sir Mook says, okay, so that 70-ish profit, how much did she make after paying taxes? It doesn't matter how much I pull in as gross profit, it all matters how much money I get to spend at the end of the day. Now, I understand that when people come on to embellish how much they make, they sometimes neglect everything that needs to be taken out of the gross. Now, being that you're an owner operator, you're responsible for damn near everything. You're responsible for your taxes. You're responsible for your maintenance, for your fuel. You're responsible for the upkeep of the truck. You're responsible for your benefits, your health insurance, your medical, dental, all that. And being that, and being that people have a huge family such as Clarissa, I mean, she has a family of four. I can imagine that health benefits is not cheap for them, <laughs> okay? So sometimes when people embellish how much they profiting or how much they making, it's, it's always a tell that they, you know, just don't want to say everything. They just, they just got to make it sound good for the, for the camera. Anonymous says they did not list taxes and her expenses was lower than normal. She really makes less than she did from trucking than she did working her criminal justice job. She just used trucking to promote her social media business. This is a scam and misleading. As others have stated in the comments, anyone who runs a business knows that this video is very misleading and that she doesn't make that much money directly from trucking. Of course, of course. I mean, some people are going to agree to disagree with this particular commenter right here, but it is true. It is true. A lot of social media influencers that are in trucking is only using trucking as a stepping stone. That's why I said before that now with the social media age, the way it is now, trucking is trending right now. And a lot of people, a lot of millennials that's coming into trucking is only using trucking to promote or to get a visual of themselves on social media. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? I mean, think about it. Think about it. Every personality that has started in social media is now blow, blown up to be something else. Take the Kardashians for example. The sets take blew them up. Soldier Boy, the viral video, blew him up. Or what about that chick from the Dr. Phil show? Catch me outside, how about that? Blown up. And now they're making X amount of money from their social media preferences. Why not this young lady? I mean, she used, she used trucking to build her 1.8 million followers on TikTok. That's, that's impressive. That's impressive. But I do agree. I do agree that the 144K that she says that she made uh, within a year come from driving. I do, I, I do understand that. I do understand that. Yamiro says, why do women think they need to show men how to do something that they've been dominated at? Women need to know their place and stop thinking they need to show men how to be men. Mm. Let's go let's go and check out uh, a little bit more of the video. Last year, JC Rankins Transport was able to make $144,208. My truck lease payment $49,200. 
My truck maintenance, $2,665. My fuel cost, $19,336. I was able to profit $71,309. And that was her, that was her profit about 70, about 70K. But I, I see what the other commenters was talking about, that she didn't factor in the taxes, the expenses, the medical costs, the benefits and everything else. So it probably might be a little bit lower than that. Uh, but then again, understand that this was uh, probably your older video. So things, you know, things probably change, you know, within the year. She probably owns the truck now. Uh, she has more sponsorships. Uh, she has more of a presence now. So a lot of things change, I believe, since this video was made. John Connor. Ooh, okay. I'm... I'm not sure how I feel about this comment right here, but he says, I dislike black personalities. Hmm, we, we can see where your mindset is, bruh. We can see where your mindset. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. Osman, Osman says, we make more than that, but good to see that you love your job. Guys, to succeed in life, just do what you love and enjoy. And Clarissa Rankin seems, seems to enjoy what she does. I mean, she promotes Trucker's Life. She promotes her, her social media presence. So I, you, you, you could easily see that, she's, that she enjoys what she does. Lily says, them boys, no wonder. Leave this couple alone, man. You should know them boys need their fathers most to be a man. Come on, y'all. Go, girl. Do your thing. My husband stay at home with the two boys, and I'm on the road. And boy, we get the, the bashing. We get told, like, why is she on the road and you at home with them kids? She need to be home with them kids. She out there with another man. Ain't no way she faithful to you. We get bashed so much because we're breaking the stereotype of an everyday married couple. My husband is a wonderful father, and we're raising two young men. Right. Right. I mean, Joy took the, Joy took the big step and said, hey, you know, my wife... I'll let her be the breadwinner and I'll just be the at home guy to do the damn thing. I do believe that he dispatch her loads for her and and take care of the kids. Why not? Change the dynamics. This ain't the 70s and 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 50s and 60s no more, man. Women are now going out being the breadwinner now. And some men like they like the reverse roles. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Social Wallace says she looks like a female truck driver. What? What that's supposed to mean, bruh? What? What, what exactly that supposed to mean? Like, what the fuck? What do, what, what do, what, what do female truck drivers look like? I mean, a regular person can look can look like a truck driver but i don't get this comment what what do that exactly mean sir i'm i'm confused i'm confused right now g female she looks like a female truck driver what because she's overweight what because she black what 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 is it sir i i need more clarification on your comment the divine says i love this keep doing your thing baby Hard-working woman breaking stereotypes. I love to see this. A lot of stereotypes here in trucking. And, you know, a lot of women, you know, they go through, they go through their hardships and a, lot of, and a lot of stuff that they had to take here in trucking. But if someone is bold as Clarissa Rankin and the other female truck drivers that's coming out here doing the damn thing, let's uh, hear... Uh, a little bit more in this video. As an owner operator, I start my day off by going on a loading board. A loading board is where different brokers will put loads that you can pick up. That'd be crazy. 
Say if I find a load from Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's gonna be toilet paper. And I'm gonna take that load to New York. I'm gonna go get picked up, get loaded, and I'm gonna drive all the way up to New York. Now I'm gonna drop it off. And so I'm gonna wait until somebody pull out and back my truck in, they're gonna unload me and I'm gonna get paid. But now I gotta go back onto the loading board and find me a load out of New York. So I'm gonna go on there and say if I might find diapers. I'm gonna go get loaded full of diapers and I'm gonna bring those diapers from New York back down to Charlotte. And that's how you do a pickup and a drop off. Is it that easy though? Man, drivers, owner operators, I need to know if it's that easy. It's that easy. Hop on the low board, find some diapers, take it up to New York, find some, some TVs or something like that and bring it back down to Charlotte. Drivers, let me know in the comments below if it's that easy. Yeah, you, 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 you can keep New York. I'm sorry. You can keep New York. Even though that there's a lot of good rates going up into New York. Yeah, no, no. You, you, you can have New York. Even as a company driver, I am not a fan of New York. Never was, never will be. Not, not a fan. I mean, I do have to, I do being a company driver and working for a company that's semi forced dispatch, you know, I may have to go up into upstate New York or, you know, uh, up at the top of New York sometimes, but not all the times, not all the times. But I understand some owner operators do get some, some good rates coming out of New York. Camilio says, I wonder how seems like trucking industry is pushing owner operators out of business yeah yeah i mean a lot of these a lot of these companies a lot a lot has changed in the trucking industry and let me explain a lot of the older drivers a lot of the old school drivers are are retiring some of them are leaving the industry altogether they gave what all they can give and they're done they're leaving and they're, 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 there's gaps that needs to be filled now. These trucking, the, the trucking industry is preparing to fill those gaps by the new millennials that's coming into the industry. They happen them, they, they preparing them by getting automatic trucks, getting ELDs. This make the, the, it's sort of making the industry, you know, a little bit more accessible and a little bit more easier for these new millennials to come in and do the job. OK, and I understand with all the with all the bad rates that, you know, owner operators are getting now and the high fuel costs, I can probably understand their their consensus where they're coming from, because. How are they how are they able to make any money if they getting if if they had to be subjected to to move cheap freight? You know, people who's only getting into trucking and using trucking as a stepping stone. Lady in the room says, if reality television doesn't give this woman her own show, they are missing a great opportunity. And that's what it is. That's that's why all these social media influencers, especially on TikTok, is pushing their videos so hard for for media to to come and do something with them. You got you got Clarissa Rankin on the Kelly Clarkson show. You got her on CNBC, Good Morning America. Somebody, it's somebody in media is going to see that. They're going to see the fact that she's pulling in 1.8 million followers on her TikTok about 10 about 15,000 on her YouTube and all of the sponsorships that she's getting somebody is going to see that and then of course somebody's going to offer her her own television deal and let me ask you this how much longer you guys think she's going to be in trucking Southpaw says I like to drive for an owner operator they pay 10.99 and average pay for five days a week ranges from eighteen hundred, and matching out to three thousand dollars. Less headache for me. 
a lot of guys are interested in doing 1099 and working for an owner operator. They don't have to worry about the mega carrier BS. They don't have to worry about being stressed. They don't have to worry about being pushed. They don't have to worry about being forced dispatch. Working for an owner operator that's that's giving them good money, good freight, and to make a decent living, some people like that. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Sandra Jeffers says, what positive, hardworking woman, good for you, get that money. As you says, around two, around 602, men are stupid. You wear what you want to wear. And yes, I am a man. It's too hot and you could have a heat stroke. Wear shorts and ignore them dumb men. Let's see what he was, let's, let's see what this comment, part of the video he's referring to. Being a female truck driver in this world is so hard. We don't have much of anything in the truck stop. Not even tampons, pads. Even wearing shorts in the summertime, I get bashed for wearing shorts. I done had men tell me, oh, you're looking for attention, or oh, what you selling? I done heard it all, all because it's a summer day, it's 98 degrees outside, it's hot, I'm a trucker. The sun is beaming through the window, but as a woman, we can't wear that. So let me uh, let me just jump in and, uh, and piggyback. Yes, it is hot, especially down in Florida, during the summer months, down in Texas, Yes, the, 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 the heat index could get well over 100. I mean, I've seen, I've seen gentlemen wear flip-flops, shorts, and a tank top out here. I know the professional truck driver, that's, that's not, that's not the, the, the dress code. You know, the dress code for some of these drivers are cowboy boots, cowboy hat, big-ass flannel shirt, and some Wrangler jeans. That shit is too damn hot, bro. It's too damn hot. You be sitting up in that motherfucking truck dripping in sweat. Dripping in sweat with the with the AC on blast. Trying to, you know, trying to hold up the persona of what a professional driver should look like. Now don't get me wrong, I understand uh being a professional while showing professionality when you go to uh, shippers and receivers. You you don't want to go in there with flip flops on. I get it. You don't want to go in there with a tank top on. You don't want to go in there with a with a t shirt. I mean, or or shorts on. I get all of that. But on a hot ass day, you know where the index is like a hundred or something like that. Sometimes you might have to put some things in consideration. Me personally, I'm a t shirt and jeans kind of guy. So I wear my shoes. I don't wear open toe shoes, i.e. flip flops or anything like that. I do wear I, I do wear, you know, the clothes that makes me look presentable. As far as these women goes, though, I mean, there's there's some <laughs> there's some outfits, though, that <laughs> that's that are very, very, very inappropriate. I can understand if you want to wear some shorts. I get it, but a lot of you wear them form-fitting biker shorts, form-fitting, you know, tops, you know, that really accentuate your 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 figure and all like that. And of course, you're gonna get that backlash from men in the truck stops because they're not looking at you as a professional driver, but they're looking at you as you know a person that might be out there offering service to them professional drivers so i understand you would get mad at a person you would get mad at that male driver for cat calling you and not respecting you as the driver you are because of the outfit that you're wearing now don't get me wrong there's a lot of TikTokers that say hey wear what you want do what you want wear how you feel but it's a representation that you're presenting and if you don't want to present that representation then you might want to change up the outfits that you choose to wear when you're outside of the truck in a public spots like truck stops sunshine girl 
says 144k a year the wow emoji seriously maybe in 2019 2020 before covid 19 not anymore though even if you're owner operator i got my license in 2010 jpw says you forgot to subtract the taxes insurance miscellaneous etc out of that 71k that you profit kevin the king says just because most truck drivers in the u.s are men doesn't mean that women aren't capable of being truck drivers as well you should never under underestimate others because of their gender props to this woman for staying strong and dealing with the negative comments from other people yes sir the comments from the internet can be savage ricardo spree says good job i'm a truck driver for 25 years as a company driver never got to be an owner operator though i made 80k local about 13 hours a day great pay by the load yes you can there's there's plenty of ways you don't necessarily have to be an over the road truck driver to make the kind of money that you're comfortable with this driver right here is comfortable with making 80k as a local driver and he's been a and he's been a company driver so he's comfortable with that so you can't go wrong denise says i respect truck drivers my dad and its husband are truckers y'all deal with a lot yes yes we do <laughs> we deal with a lot if it wasn't for truckers we wouldn't we wouldn't eat be clothed have our medicines live in our houses and amongst other things we love thank you denise oh coffee we're we're truck drivers we're in a thankless job we don't get thanked enough you know we get we we get uh ridiculed we get pushed over we get uh treated like stepchilds so for people that come in and and say thank you that puts a smile on my face you know this is excuse me a damn fine cup of coffee lamar says the more i see young truckers on social media i keep asking myself the same question what is that sir how easy it is to get into trucking to get a cdl license in america i have yet to see a video of a young driver detailing that i remember a young heavy haul out there in texas mentioning his oversight low payment of four thousand dollars a year which has a height and weight limit now you know let me let me touch on let me touch on that for a second and you're exactly right there's a lot of social media influencers out here telling you what money that is to be made out here how to make the money i can show you how to get six figures i can show you this i can show you that and i get it but there's nobody out here telling you how hard it is to get that cdl you're right they over here talking about how easy it is to get into trucking but they don't show you the process detailing getting into trucking from the point where you decide that you want to get your CDL to the point that you find a school to go to, to the point that you decide how you're going to pay for it. No detail in that. No detail in that. But you're right, though. There's a lot of braggers out here that's talking about how much money they making and, and everything like that. Sometimes you might have to take that with a grain of salt. All right, let's uh, let's see a little bit more of this clip and I'll come right back. My husband stay at home with the two boys and I'm on the road. And boy, we get the, the bashing. We get told like, why is she on the road and you at home with them kids? She need to be home with them kids. She out there with another man. Ain't no way she faithful to you. We get bashed so much because we're breaking the stereotype of an everyday married couple. My husband is a wonderful father and we're raising two young men. 
All right. With that said, shout out to Clarissa Rankin. Uh, much success to her. Even though she gets a lot of backlash and a lot of heated opinions, you cannot you 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 cannot overshadow what this young lady have done for herself and her family, man. You can't. You can't. I mean, from her humble beginnings on YouTube to now her megastar status on TikTok. What can you, what, what what can you say? The bigger that you get, the more hate that's going to come your way. I understand it, but it is what it is. You, you got to take the good with the bad. So with that said, thank you guys for listening. I really do appreciate it. What do you guys think of uh, Clarissa Rankin and uh, her Trucker's Life video on CNBC? Let me know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me